My name is Patrick Hood. I'm a lieutenant with the Maine State Police, and I'm assigned to the Troop D Barracks, uh, which is in Augusta, and we cover five counties up and down the mid coast. On a typical day, I need to make sure that uh, we're properly staffed, that we are answering our calls for service. And that could be from anything from a family fight to a car crash, uh, to someone who has barricaded themselves in a house, to serving paperwork. It's a vast variety of, you really don't know what you're gonna get. So when you come to work, you're, there's a level of excitement there. The way I became interested in law enforcement, I had a family member uh, who was a sergeant with the Maine State Police. Now at the time, I was living in New Hampshire, but I knew just from interactions, years of interactions in our family, and, and as I kind of made it through high school, I knew I wanted to do something uh, to help others, you hear that, but I really wanted to make a difference. And I could very easily see that I wanted to go in the direction of law enforcement. In high school, Come out, ride with us for a period of time, get a sense of, do I enjoy this type of work? Do I feel confident that if properly trained, I could be out here alone enforcing these types of laws? Does it bring um, some bit of um, excitement? Does it does it satisfy that inner craving of, of really making a difference in this world? That's important. So a ride along is a tool for both an applicant and for the employee to say, we are really interested in then what they can do if they choose to officially apply, they can bring that experience into an interview where for me, I didn't have experience, but I can use that tool to say, I learned these things from this ride along experience. I invested my time in this and I feel it was a wise investment and these are some of the outcome. Typically, if somebody's in high school, we limit that because there is a certain level of liability with that. The closer someone is to the age of being eligible to apply, it makes us feel better about that. So I would say that if if a high school um, if a, a high school student wants to do a ride along, I would expect that would be a couple hours at the most. But if somebody um, is applying to us and wants to have a bit more time, a shift is reasonable, eight or 10 hours. So we, we try to um, line that up towards uh, the age of the individual. You have to be 21 at the graduation um, when you graduate, uh, what we call the uh, Recruit Training Troop School for the State Police. So that's the biggest hurdle. We currently do not require um, either an associate or a bachelor's degree, a high school diploma or GED is uh, what's required. Now, depending on what you want to do, I've seen troopers that have a desire to be a detective. They have a desire to be uh, a crime scene processor. They, they want to do more because here in the state of Maine, because our agency is the largest, we have opportunities outside of what you see today, uh, just uh, uniform work, patrol work. So with that, there's competition. So if you have some uh, secondary education in specifics, whether it's forensics, whether it's psychology, biology, all of that just makes makes you a, a better trained individual that may help you um, as your career progresses. There are physical fitness requirements and those are on our website as well. You do need to pass a, a general knowledge test with a physical fitness test. Then you uh, take part in an oral board examination, and that is uh, a trooper, sergeant, uh, and a lieutenant asking a candidate a series of questions to see how him or her um, can act under a little bit of pressure, thinking on their feet, some of these things that we talked about before, being calm, being able to listen, uh, comprehend, and make a decision that we would expect where they are in their lives, uh, they can articulate what it is that they want to um, get across to all of us. Uh, after that, there, uh, there's a meeting with the Colonel of the State Police. There's also a medical screening, but all of those are steps. It's about six month process for us.
it's a great question because the weather, it does control our volume of calls for service. It will just go back. So the winter, when things are freezing, life still happens for people out there. Um, people are in need of certain things for us. And there are many nights that um, we are freezing out there, either helping somebody at a crash, a car off the road, uh, maybe at a house trying to solve a problem. But typically once the winter frustrations get over for people and they're ready to come outside, we see that our calls for service increase with that. We're already seeing um, uh, an increasing level of calls because it's getting nicer out. I think we've all experienced through the pandemic that we were on lockdown for a period of time. Unfortunately, we're seeing fatal crash numbers skyrocket at numbers that we haven't experienced for, for quite a long time. And there's, there's no rhyme or reason other than you can say that people maybe are getting back out there. They've had safety on the back burner, but that's a big deal for us. So we have to ramp up our enforcement levels because we are looking for that voluntary compliance piece. Seasons, although do dictate our level uh, of business, we it's pleasurable to have all four of those because there are, on our Facebook page, we do try to send in some pictures so the public can appreciate that because Maine is so vast, what's happening in Kittery uh, may be a little different uh, than Augusta, but certainly our friends up north in Aroostook County, when they send pictures of a cruiser on a, on a wood-covered bridge with a foliage, that's pretty cool and that brings people into the state. But what I can do is go down to the coast and get a picture uh, of me by a lobster boat holding some lobsters and that's pretty cool too. So it's just different things that you can do throughout the year seasonally that really makes a difference as we talked about before. It makes that time just absolutely fly by. Um, for those who are looking for a career, ask all the questions that you want to make sure you're making um, a great decision. And for us, reach out to our training unit, ask the questions, ask for a ride along so you know, uh, or will know that if this career is a possibility, if you can really cement that in or say, well, you know what, it, it's not really what I wanted to do, but that Marine Patrol job or that Warden Service job or Department of Corrections, that fits me, fits me better. But those are all options that we have here within the state. That's easy for me to complete that sentence because for me, high school was 30 years ago. And I honestly don't remember what the answer was for that. But I would say because I've chosen this path of law enforcement, uh, probably the most likely to succeed. I think this is something that you have to have inside of you to some degree that you're willing to put yourself out there for others. So again, uh, most likely to, to succeed.